Riverside, it's considered it's the biggest center for the newcomers. Not only in Rochester or in Minnesota, maybe it's among all over the states. They have got a large population of immigrants. They have got a new, uh, unique program for learning, for um, educate the student, not only the school writing, reading, they have got a way to let the student get in the community. The family night, get the, the family and the student all together so uh, all the families, they could not feel lonely in the country. They just feel, yes, there is other family, there is other people, they have got the same situation as them. When you come as a refugee or as an immigrant, there's many barriers. There's the language barrier, there's the culture barrier, and it's very difficult to cross these barriers. What I love about Riverside is that as soon as you walk in, I don't have to speak English to see that it's a diverse community, it's a community that values people from a different background. I keep saying that I wish when I came to the United States my first school was Riverside. I thought I hurt myself coming when I was five years old. And I wish I had all that resource that Riverside has to make me feel special, to make me feel I belong here. We come from like many, many different countries, but in the end of the day, we're very connected into one person. And I believe that that is what the school brings. I feel like that's really a big part of going to school and like having like someone to be there for them. They're like, oh, I can relate to you. As you can see behind me, um, as soon as you come to Riverside, you will see this picture, this amazing picture. This is a welcome, a, a welcoming community, whoever you are and whatever your background is. That's how I feel when I'm in Riverside. Um, parents are comfortable, children are comfortable to go here. Uh, uh, the teachers are amazing, and, and the friendship, the mentorship, that's what we need for our children to have an, a, a community where people can help each other no matter what is their background. To me, that means anyone can be represented at the school. Seeing the image really reflects what the school is. It wasn't just an artist that came in and decided to just paint it what, however the painter wanted. It was created by the hands of the kids and the community itself. You know, like a dark just in front of you, you know, when you are leaving home and coming. How's the people? How's the weather? How's the food? How's the culture? How's the way they are going to treat me? That's all thing it goes all over your head when you are in the plane for 17 or 18 hours. <laughs> They give them a really support uh, emotionally, um, social support, with love, with respect to who they are, who they're coming from. They respect them uh, uh, for their culture. They are really loving, I could tell you. <laughs> yeah. This is how I felt, you know, because when I arrived, I arrived as a newcomer, but not a student. I was a staff. And it, it, there isn't much different. You left everything behind you. You left uh, your people, your country, your everything, and you're just taking a challenge coming to the new society. Sometimes back home, it's very challenging. If, if you, there are restrictions on what you can do or what you cannot do. But here, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want. You can reach any goal that you want to accomplish. They let the kids, the newcomers, take their time. They treat them with kindness. They don't rush them to learn English. The family of the Riverside, they're really my family now, and I love being there for the love, for the help, for the support that they give me when I started the school. 